With two chapters ready and already in players' hands, I started getting confident that my dream of finishing this game could be possible. Hello, I'm AJ and this is the story of how I made my first commercial game, A Pretty Odd Bunny. In the last video, I told you how I expanded the game original 25 levels with an additional area and 20 extra levels. But the plan always was to make 4 chapters. Soon after finishing chapter 2 and releasing it as a premium game, I started working on the next area. It was important to me that every area felt as different as possible, but also I wanted each one to make sense within the context of the game. So a volcano or an underwater area were out of the question. A beach, however, seemed like a good fit. I also wanted to explore a little bit more about our little friends the pigs. Where are these pigs coming from anyway? Would they fight back if they had a chance? Combining these two ideas and also probably my need for vacation, the concept for Piggy Island was born. Piggy Island is the home of the pigs. Here we will meet all sorts of different pigs, from wild boars to fat pigs to whatever these guys are doing. We also meet other characters like Mrs. and Mr. Clan. One of them is gentle, the other one not so much. Since this was the third area of the game, it means I already had 45 levels completed. The core of the game was also ready. That means saving features, menu, unlockable, everything that completes a game's experience was already running. So after I finished the graphics, the only thing I needed to do was design levels. And I can tell you that is my single favorite part of making games. Maybe it was the fact that this was the third area of the game or maybe the pandemic and the fact that I was stuck at home against my will or maybe a combination of several things but by the time I started making levels for Piggy Island I was feeling great and my creativity was loose during the next 3 to 4 weeks I made levels after level after level every platformer I have enjoyed in the past came back to me to inspire me to try new things I had a new ability for Bonnie, disguising himself as a pig, creating new game over animations, new kinds of levels like running away from a big hog, or even one where you have to be disguised the whole time, which means you have to complete the level without jumping. All of these were super fun to make, and I think because of that, the levels are extra fun to play. I can say without a doubt, Piggy Island has some of the best levels of the whole game, and I'm dying to see players trying this for the first time. Which takes me to the next item, release strategy. Until now, I was planning to release every chapter as a standalone game, with chapter 1 being free and the rest having a premium price. This is a strategy I borrowed from Bendy and the Ink Machine, one of my favorite indie games. With Bendy and the Ink Machine, the Metley release one chapter free and then keep releasing chapter after chapter with a premium price. This strategy has a couple of advantages. You can show the concept of the game with a free portion. You start building your audience. You can get feedback from actual players. You don't need to finish the whole game before putting it out to the public. At first, I thought this was a good idea for a pretty odd bunny, but then after finishing chapter 3 and studying how chapter 1 and chapter 2 were performing, I realized it was better to hold on to chapter 3 for a while and don't release it until finishing chapter 4. I have already found a way to make progress faster and this way I will have a complete game to offer to players with over 19 levels to play and enjoy. It was a risky move because chapter 1 was already gathering a decent user base and they were waiting for more levels. I asked people to wait and hope for the best. So after finishing chapter 3, I kept it hidden and immediately started developing the fourth and final chapter. Things moved quickly and the night levels were done in record time. With that, I completed 4 chapters and over 90 levels and after 2 years of development, I could say my game A Pretty Odd Bunny was complete. It was an emotional moment for me. It was a long journey where I had to learn while doing, stop sometimes, try and keep trying until the work was complete. As an artist, I was satisfied with what I had, but since I wanted this to be my first commercial game, the journey wasn't over. Now it was time to think about launch. I knew I wanted to release on Android, but I didn't make this game to be a mobile game. So what about Steam? Was it finally time to face my ultimate dream of releasing on consoles? I was scared to even think about that, but it was time to face it. 
and discover if it was something I could achieve or just an impossible fantasy.